Looks like the Red Sox are getting Theo Epstein back in some sort of capacity. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and this offseason has really been highlighted by Red Sox ownership moves, not because of their on-field moves, but because of things they've done within their organization. It started with the firing of Heim Bloom, which led to the hiring of Craig Breslow, and then very quickly, immediately followed by the words full throttle that now live in infamy, which was then immediately walked back and told we were going to lower payroll, and then it led to Sam Kennedy calling Red Sox fans liars well Red Sox have once again made waves because of ownership decisions this one I feel like Red Sox fans are going to be a bit more excited about and that is the announcement that Theo Epstein will be joining the Fenway Sports Group so what we are going to do in today's video is break down this latest Red Sox news talk about what Theo coming back looks like in what role he will have with the Boston Red Sox and how this could affect the Red Sox future but before we get into that just a heads up we are on our road to 10,000 subscribers subscribers we are about 1,000 subscribers away so if you're new here do me a favor make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button help us get to 10,000 subscribers we talk Red Sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one let's get into it Okay, so the official news this morning that Theo was back with FSG broke around 9 a.m. And the specific announcement was that Theo will be joining FSG as a senior advisor. Basically, what this means is that he will be advising ownership on potential moves for each of their portfolio holdings. That includes, of course, Liverpool, the Penguins, their new golf team racing, and the one we care about the most, the Boston Red Sox. Upon joining FSG, Theo had this to say in his first online Zoom interview interview. He said, it's a great honor, something I'm really excited about. It's just exciting to be joining such a dynamic, groundbreaking company across multiple sports, doing so many innovative things at the cutting edge of everything going on in sports these days. For me, it's perfect. I was looking for a pathway into ownership. In my opinion, for Theo, this is absolutely fantastic. He's been looking for a way to get into owning some sort of sporting team. Now he has a way in into partially owning a whole portfolio of sports teams, including the team that he first came up with the Boston Red Sox and speaking of the Red Sox what does his role look like going forward with the Boston Red Sox well he also spoke on that he said that going forward his role is going to be as a sounding board and executive coach for Craig Breslow if needed to me that is music to my ears for those of you who may not know Theo Epstein was actually the one who brought Craig Breslow into being in the front office when he was with the Cubs that's how Craig Breslow got into the front office Office was through Theo Epstein, and Theo Epstein thinks very highly of Craig Breslow, saying, quote, I'm a full believer in him and what he and his team are going to mean for the Red Sox. Now, obviously, Theo Epstein investing in the whole of FSG and not just the Boston Red Sox means he's going to have other responsibilities outside the Red Sox, but that does not mean that he isn't going to impact this team. I think looking at what this means for Craig Breslow specifically is all good things. Not only does he already have a previously well-established relationship with Craig Breslow, but having someone like Theo Epstein, who has been extremely successful, maybe the most successful GM in Red Sox history, basically above you, helping you, being someone you could bounce ideas off, being a guiding light through becoming a good GM in Major League Baseball, and specifically a good GM with the Boston Red Sox, is absolutely fantastic for Craig Breslow's development, and I think is something that is going to have a huge impact on the way Craig Breslow Breslow makes moves and doesn't make moves as he builds a future for this club. Another really underrated aspect of what this means for the Red Sox specifically is something that both Lou Merloni and Jared Carabas, as well as others, have been sort of hinting at this entire offseason. And that is that it takes a really special personality to get John Henry to truly invest in a team. There have really only been two of these guys throughout the John Henry's ownership time, one of them being Dave Dombrowski and all the money he he spent in 2018 essentially forcing John Henry's hand and making him invest in this club. The other, 
Theo Epstein. Now, again, the, just because Theo Epstein is here doesn't mean that spending is going to take a full 180. Doesn't mean that the Red Sox are going to go on a spending spree now that Theo Epstein's involved. But what it does mean, now there's a partial owner of the Boston Red Sox who has seen what smart spending does for the Boston Red Sox. It helps break curse. It helps make you the most dominant team in the league. It helps make you the most winning franchise in Red Sox history. He understands that. He's been successful at convincing John Henry of that over his tenure with the Boston Red Sox, and now he's in this ownership group as sort of a fly in the ear of John Henry. Maybe he's not the one who goes up to him and forces John Henry to spend money or forces John Henry to make a risky investment that could really pay off for the Boston Red Sox, but maybe he can train Craig Breslow on how to do that, how to get more out of this FSG ownership group, and maybe he can be a little bit of a, hey, why don't you listen to Craig Breslow a little bit more? Why don't you take his advice and why don't you spend the money that he's advising you spend and help this team get back to being legitimately competitive in the AL East? Again, I don't think this is going to be the full turning point for the Red Sox, but it certainly isn't going to hurt. On top of that, when we're looking at why Theo Epstein is back with FSG, I really think this is a great sign. Theo Epstein is one of those people who doesn't just put his name on something to put his name on something. He has to really believe in it. This is a bit of a risk for him. He's leaving a good job with Major League Baseball. He's still going to work with them a little bit, but he's definitely stepping down from his major role within the front offices of this entire league to take on FSG. That in itself is a risk, and what that indicates to me is that he does believe in this product. He believes in this ownership group, and he wants to see them succeed. Dio Epstein is one of the most competitive people on the planet. He's not just going to do something because it's going to make him a ton of money. It could, it's definitely a big factor, but I think there's a lot more pride in it than that. And to me, what this indicates is he believes in FSG's mission and he believes in the future of all of its portfolio holdings, not just the Boston Red Sox, but the Boston Red Sox included in that, which is something I think we all desperately needed, right? Theo Epstein giving his sort of, this isn't exactly a stamp of approval, but something along those lines by investing in FSG could indicate that maybe the Red Sox are headed down the right path and maybe there's still more to come for this team. Overall, when we're looking at FSG's edition of Theo Epstein, I think it's absolutely fantastic for Theo. I think he, above anyone else that I can even think of, deserves to get into owning a major league sporting team, whether that be a whole portfolio or a single baseball team. Him being able to do this, to me, is absolutely fantastic. But because this is a Red Sox channel, how the overall does this affect the Red Sox? I don't think this is going to be the full 180. Some people may expect it to be because of what Theo did in Boston, but I do think this is only positive for the Red Sox. Having Craig Breslow have this mentorship within the organization, someone who can guide him and help him, someone who has been one of the most successful GMs in the history of baseball in the ear of Craig Breslow, helping him become a legitimately great GM is absolutely fantastic. I don't see any downside to that. I also don't see any downside to him being in this ownership group and allowing him to be sort of that fly in the ear of John Henry talking to him saying, hey, maybe we do take this risk. It might not work out, but look at how it did in 07, 04 with some of these teams that I build. It worked really well. You did this back then. Let's do this now. I don't think that's a bad thing either. Again, I don't know how much pull he's going to have, but it certainly won't hurt. And overall, I think when we're looking at it from a Red Sox point of view, there's nothing to really say that's going to be a problem with Theo Epstein joining FSG and hopefully helping the Boston Red Sox get to where they want to go in the future because again, Theo Epstein's one of the most competitive people on the planet. He's not going to invest in this ownership group if he does not believe that they could be successful in all aspects of their portfolio. And I'm sure he's excited to be making money off of Liverpool, the Penguins, racing and golf, but his love has always been baseball. So hopefully we get some extra special attention from the great Theo Epstein, the wonder kid Theo Epstein over the next couple of years. But that's just my opinion. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? of this? Do you like the fact that Theo Epstein's coming back to the Boston Red Sox in some capacity, right? Mainly as a part owner of FSG, focusing on all aspects, but still impacting the Boston Red Sox. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know all your thoughts on Theo Epstein coming back to Boston in the comment section down below. 
as always if you made it to the end of this video do me a favor make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're new here we talk red Sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one and i will see you in the red seats